Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we are going to talk about chapter 19, verse number 1, and this is a very extremely important video. I want everybody to copy it and spread it all over. And I might need to make two videos to explain it. So please, when you copy it, copy the two parts. As you see in here, uh, uh, chapter 19, verse number 1, Kahayas, it's coming in the Quran as a one word, but when we read the Muslims uh, translating, they translate it as letters. As you see, they make it as letters. Kaf, ha, ya, ayin, sad. Now, as you see, Ajalala is saying, God knows best what he mean by these letters. So who knows what the meaning of those letters? Only Allah, according to Muslims. Now, at the same time, we ask ourselves a question, okay, why Allah is putting words there when nobody understands it? It doesn't make sense. Simply, uh, the way I understand this, Muhammad, he was copying from Christian books and he put the word in there and he do not know what it means. Because of all of us, we knew that Muhammad was copying. Uh, uh, he is not the one who is uh, uh, making the Quran. There is a guy, his name is Waraq ibn Nawfal. He is the one who was giving him. And this guy, he was, uh, let us say, he claimed to be priest, but he was kicked out of the church for the wrong uh, teaching he was doing. So, Muhammad, he copied the word and he put it in the Quran and when they ask him what it's mean, the answer is, as usual, God knows best what he mean by these letters, simply because it's not his work. Simply because he is just copying, stealing something, he didn't, he didn't know what it's mean. Because Kahayas as a word, simply mean nothing provide us nothing show us nothing so why it's there and we notice that this is exist in the chapter number one in the verse sorry chapter number nine verse number one in the Quran and the chapter is the chapter of Mary Maryam the mother of uh, Christ according to the Quran now why it is exist there this mysterious word this is what we will try to explain to you in this video but before we go there This is the Muslim website, official government website of Saudi Arabia as usual. If you see the Muslims translating it, they don't translate it as a meaning. They translate it as letter because simply it's mean nothing. You get the point? For them, it is Allah words. We don't know what it means. Let us make it easier for Muslims. It is Allah letters, which is very funny. That's Allah, he say letters. You know, I can say... and. Like he is not creating letters because those letters is already exist in the alphabet, you know. So Muslim he might say it's a miracle. Nobody can understand it. What do you mean a miracle? It's a it's a letter. I can say G F M D O O, and you say to me, I said to you, do you know what it means? He said, yeah, those are letters. But what do you mean? He said, I don't know. Only only Allah knows. It's a miracle, brother. But anyway, the Muslims always funny when it's come to Quran miracles. So what we will try to do in here, we will try to provide you with the meaning of this word with a very very important study if you look with me in here you will see a coding and this coding it is numbers and those numbers equal to the alphabet in Arabic now to make it short I don't have much time you will see those numbers going from 1 to 10 and to the letter number 10 and the letter after the letter number 10 is going to be double so what we are doing in here in this code and this is a very ancient code made by the Aramaic and the Arab and even Hebrew that use it you will see that every 10 numbers the number after will be double of the 10th number so every 10 number we count the number after will be double and we will add the equal number for the letter number 10 to the number after and the number after as you see this number was 10 this number was 20 this number is 30 which means we are just adding 10 to each one after the letter number 10 until we arrive to the letter number 20 which is 100 now the letter number 20 simply is the number uh, you know it is uh, uh, as you said every 10 number right so the number after will be double which means we are adding 100 for each letter after this letter which is number 20 this is why we get those numbers just to explain to you how we get them now 
what those letters stand for simply in the old days in ancient days they use that coding as a security code it's very intelligent way you can send a letter and nobody understand only people who have the code they can understand what those words mean now what all of this have to do with this verse let us go and see now this is the coding again and this is the the, the, the letters as you see it as the Muslim translated in the Quran in their English Quran chapter 19 verse number one and this is the code I made it in a slide so you can see it better and you can see the numbers now if we try to make those letters fit with the coding which is an Aramaic coding as we mentioned before we will find the following that's ka ha ya ain sod they are equal to the following number ka is equal to 20 ha equal to 5 ya equal to 10 ain equal to 70 sod equal to 90 they are total as 195 now so what what is 195 well it's a very complicated method you know you need to be an expert to understand but I will show it to you in a very easy way the, the same way we were able to find out what those numbers stand for uh, the letters stand for as numbers we can uh, uh, take those numbers and translate them again to a sentences remember the, the reason it's it is a code the reason it's made this way so when somebody read the word kahayas he will not understand so maybe somebody will say okay so why they are doing this simply it's a code so nobody can understand so if you send a letter if you if you say something you don't want anyone to understand except the people who they understand your language the language of coding nobody can break the secret and maybe somebody will say okay why Christians at that time or somebody is at that time or even whoever you know made these letters why they are doing this because of the discrimination you know they used to worship under a lot of a threat and until now actually Christian they are living under a threat now if we go to the uh, 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 the slide after we will find the following uh, 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 analyzing we found first that Kahayas is equal to 195 now we will take the 195 and they will try to find equal letters can break down with the letters or the number of 195 now somebody can say well we can make a lot of uh, uh, like uh, uh, mathematics uh, and we we break it down and we find a lot of letters no you can make really but it doesn't matter uh, how many times you make it uh, uh, or break it to numbers because after all you have to make it as sentences make sense remember if you translate the coding by coding it's mean you did nothing now we are making the code back to be the same language again to a language we understand so you have to provide equal numbers fit with the 195 as total and the same time they provide a sentences and remember as I said those all these Christians they used to do those numbers because they are under discrimination and the threat of being killed so they used to say words nobody understand even in their language nobody understand because simply you need a code now if we translate the letters or the number 195 two letters we got those letters a l m c ya ha a l ha ya somebody will say so what you know 195 is equal to those letters what does that mean i will show you what does that mean if we move you know in the in the in the slide we will see the following as you see those are the letters more breakdown to to show it to you more clear a l m c ya ha a l they will end up as the following and here is the surprise this is a sentence in Arabic it says Al Masihu Ilahi Jesus uh, sorry Christ to, to make to make it uh, clear it's not Jesus it says Christ is my God Al Masihu Ilahi Masih in Arabic it's mean a Messiah so Al Masihu Ilahi Ilahi it's mean my God so what we found that's Kahayas is equal to the number 195 and 195 when we will break it down we will find it it's equal to the sentences al masih ilahi and this is explain why it is exist in the first verse of the chapter of Mary 
and for sure we know how strong is the connection between Mary and the Messiah she is his mother so we found what Kahayas mean in their Quran Muhammad he copied it he stole it from the Christian and because he's a thief he don't know what it's mean but it's mean that Christ is my God God don't leave himself without witnesses Jesus is Lord Christ is Lord even in your book Muslims Amin. follow with me